The shadow is this oppression that is through your entire life that has become so oppressed consistently through all the days that you've lived that it's now unconscious. You don't even know it's there. And the amazing thing about hands is that your hands are a mirror to your entire nervous system. So when I'm looking at your hands, I'm seeing exactly how that oppression has happened in very specific regions of the hands. The fingerprints have, it's been revealed, the fingerprints are epigenetic. What that means is that there's an ancestral pattern and that connection between the fingerprints and our core fears or our triggers are ancestral as well, which means we have an entire story that's being passed down through a generation about struggles with money, struggles with uh, power, abuse, uh, boundary issues. And when those things get uh, into a traditional difficulty, they end up getting uh, suppressed. So I'm looking at your fingerprint pattern. I can see exactly what it felt like from your grandfather all the way down to your mother, down to the, the life. You're repeating the exact same pattern and everything is biological. So when you are living a suppression over a lifetime, that, re that causes a overall difficulty that you feel in your body, holding on to fear for years in a particular region causes a trauma. Now, the amazing part is that I can see exactly how you are concave in that area. What is depression? And so the, the shadow then allows you to take that what is unconscious and make it conscious. And that creates an enlightenment in your life where you now have free choice going, oh my gosh, I don't have, I don't have that running the show. Now the shadow is no longer running me. I see the life as uh, miraculous. And the most amazing part is that when you see that, for an example, the difficulty of that trauma is the degree that you're projecting everything on you. Think of your, your life as a mirror of who you are. So if you have this real difficulty in speaking up, then you're going to be really see a lot of triggers around you of people that are ignoring you. So you're in this dance all the time and that is your shadow. I guarantee everyone else might be seeing that same situation in a different way, but because you have your hurt and your pain, you're somehow co-writing a story that is in some way negative and limiting you from the life you love. And, you're, and it limits you from living a life that is your life of your dream. In other words, it's a, it's a limiting belief that you're holding over an entire generation. And, and having that limiting belief somehow distorts reality. Reality starts becoming a dance. If you could have trouble speaking up and well, you're going to see a world that's ignoring you. Other people don't see that same picture you do. And in this way, you almost cause the world to ignore you. And Einstein had that same trauma. You can see that trauma in a very specific region of his, of the fingerprint pattern. And everyone has a different fingerprint pattern that shows their trigger and the area of the life they avoid and what causes them to feel like a victim. And when you can open this territory up to them, that's really opening up their shadow where they see how much of a percentage in their lifetime they have been avoiding. In other words, being a victim. In other words, losing the power in their life. And when you can open that up, and bring it to the surface, now they can have something that allows them to have power and a full self-expression. And in that place, life looks miraculous. Life doesn't look like the pain because you're not experiencing life through the filters of fear. You're looking at through your energy of your power. And through that, your whole existence starts to change with opportunities. Doors open all over the place because those doors were closed because you constantly saw that you were ignored, for example. And so that's what the shadow is. And every part of the hand represents another piece of that puzzle. And when you add that to the fingerprints, which is half of your life pattern, 
then you can see the entire shadow side of your life and how much that part of your life is driving you. And for some people, it's 90%, which means that they're operating on only 10% of their power and their creative free choice. And 90% is a repetitive show that just keeps repeating every day, like Groundhog Day, waking up to the same day, with the same problems and a fixed mindset. And that's what the shadow is. It puts you in a fixed place where life is predictable and there's no growth and no renaissance in your life to live a life you love. In other words, there's no meaning. And the meaning then opens up when you are able to take this shadow and unearth it and say, this is what I have to deal with. Now let's connect to it with compassion.